Hey, what's going on, you guys? Dub Doc here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Where today, um, you're here to discuss uh Bed Daisy dot S Y S. All right, so Bed Daisy S Y S for people who don't know, it's a file error code, uh, given when you play some games like Rainbow Six, Fortnite, or PUBG, since they run off of the same anti cheat battle eye, and battle eye basically is not working with your computer, and you just want to know how to fix it. All right, so in this video, I'm going to discuss that. But before I end, before I tell you guys, uh, I really appreciate if you guys would leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more uh, content like this. And uh, here's your daily meme. We do daily memes on the channel. Bring you on into the temps, and we're all doing okay. Wow, 750 degrees in Gila Bend right now. Uh, and 1,270 uh, in Ahwatukee. Now, I, I'm not authorized to <laughs> evacuate Ahwatukee, okay, but Cade this temperature Creek. seems pretty high. Cade uh, Creek is really Yeah, good. Cade Creek, Fountain Hills, uh, they don't look good either. <laughs> and frankly, Wickenburg <laughs> is a total loss. Oh my God. You might as well just get out of anywhere along this 60 years. Very warm surprise is starting to heat up as well at 1300 degrees. So uh, again, <laughs> the safe spots seem to be Chandler and Mesa. Scottsdale is doing okay <laughs> so far, but uh, you know, you're sort of surrounded by some pretty intense heat. So you know, again, I'm not your dad, but I would get out while you still can. I think steel boils at about this temperature, so Cave Creek, there's probably nothing left up there uh, right now. Uh, so don't even bother looting up there. It's not going to be worth it. There you go. All right, so I'm just saying right now how you fix this problem um, is by resetting your PC. Um, yes, but I'm going to go more in detail instead of saying... Because the first listen, you're going to be like, what the heck? You mean like delete my whole entire PC? No, I'm not losing all my files. You don't have to lose all your files. And I'm just saying this because I went through tons and tons and tons and tons of forums and videos and could not find one way how to fix this problem. I did all the things they said. Uninstall the game. Reinstall the game. Uh, fix your overclocks. Do uh, Fix your... Uh, restart your computer, use the other version of it, verify your files in Steam, uh, do something in Ubisoft, look for something called sound data. It's just all these things that don't actually work. They're just a waste of time and will make you pull your hair out. And honestly, one of the worst things to do is even go to Ubisoft to get a ticket. Ubisoft will waste your time even more because you're literally going to be waiting. Like, it's one of my worst, one of my least favorite things about like support things is that it's just like Rockstar. I had a few pro I had a problem a few years ago when I wanted to fix my problems and when I was done with it, I was like, never again. Because it literally took me two weeks to get an answer out of them. Because my least favorite thing about any game company that has this thing called a ticket is they're really gonna go, Well have you done this? It's gonna be like one of the most basic things like has your antivirus been is it is it affecting it? No, it's not affecting it. When you install something, it even tells you, do you want to allow this into your anti software? It's just dumb. A waste of your time. And I'm telling you right now, this is the easiest and fastest way to fix this dumb problem. All right. So I'm going to explain to you guys what to do real quick. All right. So reset, P reset this PC. You're going to read this and be like, oh, no. But you just hit it. You hit keep my files. What does this mean? Keep my files means that it's just going to keep all your personal files, your photos, your pictures, I said photos and pictures, your videos, your photos, your documents, your downloads, like the download EXEs and stuff like that. It's going to remove all your apps, so like all your games, all your applications. But if you have the EXE files of them, you get to keep them. But there is a way around to actually keep them all. And how do you do this? All right, so you need an external hard drive or an internal drive turned into an external. So basically, if you have an internal drive, just turn it into an external by buying a simple adapter to SATA the USB. Or if you already have one, it's already been, it, this tutorial is going to be really quick and fast for you. All you have to do is transfer all the applications you want to keep onto an external hard drive. And guess what? You're going to keep them all because your computer is not going to delete them. The only, the only apps that your computer is going to delete is the internal ones. So you have a ton of internal drives. It's going to delete all the apps on all of them. But it's going to keep the personal private. It's going to keep all of the files on them. So if you want to keep personal files, you can. If you want to start fresh, you can. Or remove all your stuff. But I don't know if you would want to do that. Um, but yeah. 
And also, before anybody says that this is a bad idea, your computer actually will run a lot better and will feel a lot better after you do this. Uh, I have seen speeds increase of downloads. I have seen my internet increase on my computer. I have seen it just run a lot cooler when I'm opening up applications. And it's just, it, it's like a breather of fresh air on anything. So yeah, guys. I'm just saying it right now, it's totally worth it, and um, I understand that resetting your computer is really scary, and it may not be the most favoriting thing for anybody to do, but it's probably the, the only thing you can do to fix this problem, sadly. Anyway guys, that's about it for this video, I really don't have anything else to say. If you have any comments, uh, if you have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them all. And uh, yeah, that's probably about it for this video. I hope you guys liked the video at least. And if you did, please give a like and subscribe to the channel for more uh, videos like this. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.